Mercedes Benz recently, and they said that they feel like they, their their perception is the car is going to change more in the next ten years than it has in the last fifty, uh, and 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 uh, because of technology. So all, all these things are great. I mean, I have the privilege of uh, testing new cars every week, and I've seen these changes and. Uh, I guess uh, we are spoiled because I mean we see them like firsthand, and now we can't imagine a car without some of the of the great technology that we see. But uh, for some people, there's still that question: if this uh, helping for now, or is becoming a distraction because there's so much to learn in a in a new car. There is, you know, and that's some of the things we talked about at the Connected Car Conference C3, as we call it, last week in New York City. Because here's the thing, Javier. I've been covering, I, I, like you, I'm a journalist and I drive a different car every week, so I see it firsthand. Uh, and, you know, while their technology has a lot of potential in the car, there's a lot of issues to overcome, whether it's driver distraction, which we talked about, privacy and security, and all this data flowing in and out of the car. Uh, we also talked about kind of how the car is becoming a network device, and, you know, we talked about it in, in relation to the Internet of Things. And we talked about self-driving cars, and that's just a portion. I mean, there's there's issues with you know big data. There's issues, as you know, with infotainment systems and user interfaces. Uh, again, for like the third or fourth year in a row, uh, car makers got hit really hard by JD Power's initial quality survey because customers are really frustrated by their infotainment interface. So it's a lot of challenges. There's a lot of potential, but there's also a lot of challenges before we can kind of get to that point. Yeah, actually, I was going to mention that uh, JD Power and Associate initial quality study because it's not that the systems don't work. In some cases, they don't. I mean, there are glitches there, but uh, it's more like the learning curve from the user, right? I mean, uh, it's great things, yeah. but uh, if it takes you a week to learn it and you get frustrated, uh, that's that's a problem. So uh, there's a lot of education to need to be done, right? Exactly, and that's why you're seeing companies like Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Lexus, Cadillac actually putting you know, specialists in the